We got a call from animal control authorities here in Whistling County um, that they had a large case of suspected cruelty. They were quite concerned with what they found when they got to the property. A backyard breeder of dachshunds and poodles who's been in business for more than a decade, they found conditions in here that were just deplorable. They reached out to us with an urgent plea for help. Well, we had an anonymous call and the lady had said that her niece found two dogs and they smelled like death. And I sent my two officers out to check on it We came up and uh, as soon as we walked in, the smell hit us and uh, all the dogs in all the cages. And I was just like, well, I definitely know we're gonna be doing something with this. We're just walking in, of course, the smell has actually gotten worse than what it was that day. He told us he was in the middle of cleaning, but every single one of those dogs were in the same place that they were when we were out here beforehand. You know, always in these situations when you arrive, they tell you that they were about to, you know, get everyone to the vet or they were about to get everything cleaned up or they were just about to take care of things and it's never the truth. As Animal Control indicated, they were there days ago, provided warnings to these people and they had corrected nothing. I had yet to see food. I don't even see any dog food bags anywhere. When we first came, they indicated the animals were in a garage, so that's where we started. There were over 30 dogs in the garage, high ammonia levels, dogs crammed two and three into a crate. No, none of the animals had food or water. Additionally, in there were two rabbits and over 60 chickens. Um, so the garage was, was quite appalling. And then we found a shed with 10 more large dogs in it. The ammonia levels in the shed were nearly 300 parts per million, which is off the charts. It, it takes your breath away. It is so incredibly cruel. I rarely lose it, and today I lost it. Today, when I saw those dogs, I broke down crying. It was so incredibly cruel. No animal deserves to be treated that way. And it was intentional. I think this is the worst I've ever seen. Um, these are just solid mats of feces. When I'm standing there and I'm seeing this intense suffering, I, I ask, why? 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 And it's greed. It's greed. To me, it's clear when you put animals in pens and more or less forget about them, that speaks of some person who has animals for profit. And when those animals can't be sold or are no longer helping produce other animals, they sort of just get pushed back and forgotten. And we saw that today. These situations can exist anywhere and do. They are in every, every town, in every city. Um, in every state. There are people for profit or other misguided reasons who let animals languish and suffer and many times until they die. The case had been described to us by law enforcement as approximately 25 to 30 dogs contained in a garage. Obviously, when we got there today, we found a lot more than that. In the end, it was over 170 animals that we seized from the property today. 59 dogs, three cats, two turkeys, two rabbits, and over 100 chickens. It's not every day that we get to do something like this, and when you do, do something like this, of course it makes you feel really good. I mean, it, you know that there's animals that aren't like this in that condition anymore. We wouldn't have been able to do this without you guys. So it's a great appreciation towards you guys that y'all helped us out with this. Well, like I said, I'm tickled to death y'all are here, so. I mean, uh, y'all are the real heroes here today. I mean, I truly believe so. I mean, we were just the initial start of it all, but y'all are definitely doing the heavy lifting. This breeding operation is yet another reminder that this is where the animals you purchase come from and it's a strong incentive to always adopt and never purchase your animal. Your generosity and your donations fund this work and without you, these and many other animals would never get the help they need. Thank you to everyone who supports this work.